ladies of tech. This video is going to be on how to find your CAD file for a PLC off of the Allen Bradley website. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the Allen Bradley website, so www.ab.com, and I'll post it below as well. And we're going into the website now. And where I want to go is our product directory. So we're going to go find our product and we're going to get the catalog number because we'll need that later for searching the CAD files. So under, we're looking for a program or controller, and ours is a MicroLogic, so under Micro and Nano Control Systems. And what we have is 1100 series, and I can tell that because on the front of my controller it says MicroLogic's 1100. And here we have all kinds of resources available for us. So I'm going to go to our um, product selection tool, and I'm going to get the actual part number from my controller. So I can either look on the side of it, I can go on um, RS Logis links, find out the controller, what the actual part number is. So the one that we have is a 1763 L16 BWA. So now that I got that information, I can go up here and I can go to resources. And the resources we have here, an eCAD works. So this is where you're going to actually find the CAD files for the particular PLC that you're looking for. I'm going to put my catalog number in, which is a 1763-L16BWA. I'm going to submit that. Alright, and this looks about right. If I looked at my controller, I have 10 24 volt DC digital inputs, two 10 volt analog inputs, and six relay outputs. That matches mine pretty good. And down the side here, now I have uh, supplementary documents, product details and certifications, photo, 3D dimension um, step module, and two dimension drawing. So that's one actually I want. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to open it with my uh, CAD. Just downloading right now. So it comes in as a read only, which is fine. We can always save it as something else. But here you go. You have all the um, isometric views. You got your front view your side views, your top views, and now I got the controller. It's quite simple. That's all you got to do. AB is really good at supporting documentation of all the CAD files, so don't bother redrawing it or re-anything. Just go to your CAD files and you have it. So that's my quick little tutorial on how to find CAD drawings for PLCs using Alan Bradley's website. Any questions or concerns or any comments, please post them below and please make sure you Subscribe for little tips and tricks and tutorials on PLCs. Thank you.